I'm Shalene from TSC Tuition and today I'll be talking about words you need to know if you're studying a film. If you're studying films for the first time, there are a couple of words that you need to know in order to talk about films appropriately. We want to be able to use appropriate words to talk about our texts because these are sort of dead giveaways uh, to your teacher or for your examiner that maybe you don't know this genre or this text as well as they would like. The first word that you really need to know is director. Films don't have authors, they don't have writers. Well they do, but not in this sense. They have directors. So make sure that you are referring to the person who is basically in charge of creating the film, the director. If you're studying a film where the scriptwriter and the director are really important people. A lot of the times scriptwriters are not, but sometimes they are. If you're studying one of those films, it's important that you refer to the writer of the script as a script writer. If you're studying a play, it's called a playwright. If you're studying a novel, it's called an author or a novelist. But in a film, we want to use the word scriptwriter. Another word that you really want to be familiar with is diegetic sound. Diegetic sound simply means the sounds that the characters themselves can hear. Now let's say that Tom Cruise's character is having a party uh, at the end of a Mission Impossible film and there's music playing, there's lots of people having fun, dancing, drinking. The music that is being played at the party that we can hear as an audience is diegetic. It means that this music can be heard by everybody in the scene as characters themselves and that it's not just for our, the audience's benefit. Another word that students should really be familiar with is the verb to frame. Now, this is not exactly a technique as such. There are lots of other words you can use to describe the camera movements or the camera position, but the word to frame we want to use as students of film texts to talk about the ways in which the director forces us to look at things a certain way through the frame of the camera. So for example, we want to talk about the director framing objects or subjects in a particular way or in a particular light. We don't really use this word when we're analysing novels or even when we're analysing plays. It's really a film specific word that students need to understand and become familiar with. The only exception to this I would say is if you are a student studying a graphic novel. If you're studying say Persepolis, that would be a great word to use to talk about the way in which the graphic novelist frames certain scenes or characters or settings. My last word or last phrase that I think students really need to understand and become familiar with is the phrase the fourth wall. If you think about the old television boxes, right, so I'm not talking about the flat screen TVs that we have today, I'm talking about the box TVs where there's a box and then there's the screen that you watch as a viewer. The fourth wall refers to the screen of the TV. It's the invisible wall that separates what is happening on screen from real life on the other side of the screen. What some directors will choose to do is to break the fourth wall. That is, have characters on screen talk to the audience as if they're really there, as if they're really having a conversation or if they are actually capable of interacting with each other. Now, of course, that's not possible if you talk to a camera, which is what filming is, I can't see what the audience is doing. I don't even see who the audience is because it's made in a different time period. But the idea is that this fourth wall, the wall that separates the audience's reality from what is supposed to be happening on screen is broken and that interaction through the wall is possible. 
So I hope that was helpful. As always, like and subscribe to all of our social media channels so that you can get our latest tips and tricks to achieving your best in your English subject. And if you'd like to get some one-to-one -one tutoring, whether online or face-to-face, -face, please contact us and we can send someone to you. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.